Hello primals. Today, I just want to give a shout out to everybody that is choosing peace and love above all other options, at least to the best of their ability. And I also want to talk about what to do when the only war that is left is with yourself. Because Today I did something that made me a better person, and it was a bit embarrassing, but I received a lot of humility from it. I recognized a mistake that I was making, and that I had made, rather. And I took full ownership of it. Now, what was embarrassing about it, it was just the, the fact that something that I strive for is sophistication and charm in my leadership. Those are my two strong points. And... I failed to meet those standards. And I realized today that that's almost actually a blessing to be able to take accountability and to realize that accountability is going to be something that can take a while to understand and how to take responsibility for oneself and how to become disciplined. It's going to be challenging sometimes to do that and to be just accepting of the flaws that you have. And I think that's really what the war against yourself is really about, is accepting your own flaws and accepting that sometimes the ego will try to push and project its faults, sense of pride onto the world before its time. And I've also learned that it's going to be you that has to have your back at the end of the day. There is no one else that is going to be able to have your back better than you. And if you can't hold up your own principles, then you might as well not have any principles at all. And so... After I made the mistake, I took complete ownership of the situation. I took complete control of the situation and told the people that were involved how I'm going to better not make that or reduce the likeliness of making that mistake again in the future. The first thing that I'm going to recommend to people in general is to remember to respond rather than react. I know that can be very difficult in a world where we're constantly berated with things trying to capture our attention from every which way. And sometimes it's challenging to take a step back and to realize that there's more to the world than lusting after whatever gets you the most dopamine. And being able to have self-control and patience by being ready or not. Well, being ready no matter what, but if you're ready or not to those out there that are still in the matrix and 
are not unplugged. It is clear to me now that sometimes the people are really not wanting to be unplugged from the Matrix, so to speak. I don't know if you remember this, but in the Matrix movie, when people become unplugged, sometimes they cannot handle it. And the truth is almost more horrific than the beautiful lies that they're being told in the Matrix. So, well, what does Neo do, the main character, what does Neo do to counteract this? He keeps moving. He keeps going and not stopping, no matter what. Even when there seems to be no more strength left. And it is also clear to me now that those people that speak the truth, at least to the best of their ability, and that bring the truth into being, are often the ones that have their words twisted the most. Because people take what they say, and then they reframe it, or at least they try to, they reframe it in a way that tries to make them seem like the victim of what that person is saying, even though what that person is saying has nothing to do with them. And it is also clear to me now that people, when they cannot take your money and when they cannot take your, your glow in life, your smile, they want to attack your character and they want to attack your dignity. But I want to encourage you that to this audience, you are someone that is a breath of fresh air to the world. You are that person that was told growing up that they would never become anything. You were that person that was told that their dreams didn't really matter. You were that person that was told you can't study that because it's not going to make money. No. Don't surround yourself with these kinds of people. And if you are not sure about if these are the kinds of people you're hanging around, test the spirit. This is something that the Bible talks about as well, is testing the spirit to discern what the people's motives and intentions are. That is exactly what I intended to do. And though I did make a mistake in going about it, the, the goal was seized and the day was seized and the goal was achieved. And now I know with more certainty on where people's real intentions are. I'm not saying that you should always try to be distrusting to people or not or choose not to trust people because I think it's very important to trust. However, it is also very good to know that you are the one that is going to war with yourself. You are the one that's going to have to accept your flaws at the end of the day. And if you can accept everything that you have to offer, whether it's good or bad, about yourself to the world, if you can be comfortable in your own skin, then you don't have anything to lose anymore. And that is where you find peace, is having nothing to lose. That's freedom. Now, I'm not saying that having nothing to lose means that you should strive to give away everything. What I'm saying is that do not have more lust after the pleasure and the sensuality of life than the faith in that which is most high. And with that, I hope this message is informative 
and inspires people to look at life from a different perspective. Till next time, peace be with you.